and welcome back to another lesson. Today's lesson title is Cycle of Matter. Our vocabulary words are compost, fertility, cycle of matter. Compost, decayed organic matter such as garden waste and food scraps used to improve soil. Fertility, capacity of a soil to provide crops with essential plant nutrients. Cycle of matter, the cycle by which organic matter changes forms from the birth and growth phases of all living things through their inevitable death decomposition and reorganization into other life forms. Now pay close attention, I will be reading you an expert. Maintaining fertility, composting, cover, cropping, and crop rotation. To maintain fertility in the garden is to follow the law of return. If you take it out of the garden, you put it back into the garden. Fertility is managed in multiple ways in the edible gardens. Here are a few ways to add fertility to your garden soil. Plant winter cover crops to return nutrients to the soil. Rotate vegetable crops so that the specific nutrients that one type of plant needs most are not depleted. Return organic matter to the garden in the form of compost and mulch. Add mineral amendments to balance soil nutrients based on soil test data. In order to not get carried away here, let's zoom in on composting, the most direct way to return the very nutrients that you extract from your garden by harvesting and weeding back into the soil. A good compost pile is at the heart of every healthy garden. Compost involves garden waste and foot scraps being broken down or decomposed through the hard work of decomposers like the FBI, which is fungi, bacteria, and introverts. Once the ingredients in a compost pile are fully decomposed, the nutrients in their tissue have been released and made available for plants to use again. Compost is the end and the beginning of a cycle of matter in the garden. There are three groupings of material used in a compost pile. Greens, such as vegetable scraps, green plants, weeds, grass clippings, kitchen waste, etc., high in nitrogen. Browns, such as straw, leaves, and dead plants, mostly full of carbon. And three, manures, bringing in a diverse array of beneficial microorganisms that live in the animal's gut. Before you begin, make sure you have enough material to build your pile. Ha have mostly browns, about 20 times more than greens, plenty of greens, and um, animal manure. That ladder can be bought of a local nursery and bags are being from a local farm, ranch, or stable for free. To maintain fertility in the garden is to follow the law of return. Very important, you guys. If you take it out of the garden, put it back into the garden. Return organic matter back to the garden in the form of compost. A good compost pile is at the heart of every healthy garden. Compost involves garden waste and food scraps being broken down or decomposed through the hard workers of decomposers like the FBI. Remember, fungi, bacteria, and invertebrates. Once the ingredients in a compost pile are fully decomposed, the nutrients in their tissues are released and made available for plants to use again. Compost is the beginning and the end of a cycle of matter in the garden. In the journal, we're going to have a little activity which is going to take 5 to 10 minutes. First, the reading begins with the following statement. To maintain fertility in the garden is to follow the law of return. If you take it out of the garden, put it back into the garden. That's what we, let in the ex we read in the expert. So please explain that in your own words in your journal, okay? Two. Can you think of anything else that follows the law of return? Three, remember to include the date, time, location, and weather at the top of your journal entry as always. Our lesson is done for today, but you can go ahead and finish your cooked row journal and turn it into your teacher. So just to clarify, number two, can you think of anything else that follows the law of return? Anything else in the world that you think follows the law of return? And that is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining me.